hello friends so welcome to another video of my channel so in this video i will show you how to add static routing or how we can do the static routing on asa firewall so this is our network this is inside this is outside and this is dmz network from asa firewall all these networks are reachable but now we have to add the route for this network if i will go on asa so first of all i will tell you the ip address uh, fourth router IP address is 192.168.4.4 192.168.3.3 on third router and R2 has IP address 192.168.2.2 on ASA firewall interfaces I have already configured IP address 2.10, 3.10 and 4.10 and here this is the new network I have added and the IP address is 192.168.5.5 on R5 and 5.4 on r4 that is connected between r4 and r5 so i'll add the static route for r5 on our asa firewall if you don't know how to assign ip address how to configure asa firewall so just check below description links and click on that link and watch the video i have made separated video for each topic so let's go on our terminal and check the routes and reachability between ASA and R5. So here you can see show route and there is no any route for R5 for 5 network 192.168.5.0's network there is no any route. Let's check the reachability between ASA and R5. So I'll try to ping ping 192.168.5.5 IP address. And you can see no route to the host 5.5 .5. let's go on r5 and try to ping from here ping 192.168.4.10 asa is outside interface ip address and here you can see it doesn't have route so let's check the route on r5 whether it has route for reaching asa firewall or not show ip route and you can see here it doesn't have any route to reach asa so first of all we will add the route on r5 then we will start configuration on asa so go on configuration terminal mode and here you have to type ip route uh, i'm giving here uh, default network 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and subnet can be 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 and next hop ip 192.168.5.4 so now if i'll check so now you can see whatever traffic with whatever subnet mask can go to the r4 and r4 has the route to reach asa firewall because this is the r4 and it is directly connected with asa firewall so let's go on asa and start uh, route configuration so for routing you have to just type route and your zone in whatever zone you want to go or in whatever zone you want to send your traffic so you have to add the route and here you have to type outside because this is our outside network so or just type route and outside then you have to give your destination network that is 192.168.5.0 before this let me show you whether i am getting traffic from r5 or not so i will ping again ping 192.168.4.10 and i will start debug on asa so debug icmp trace and if it is getting echo request from r5 then only we can add the route so let's start again ping and now you can see icmp echo request coming from 5.5 .5 on 4.10 but asa doesn't have route to reach there so that's why it is not able to give the reply of this request so now we will add route outside 192.168.5.0 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and 0 
and next hop IP address 192.168.4.4 so I'll just slide my window here route outside 192.168.5.0 network subnet mask slash 24.255.255.255.0 next hop IP 192.168.4.4 this is the IP address of next hop of this interface of R2. This is next hop of ASA firewall. Just press enter. Let's go on R5 again and do the ping again. So here you can see the ping is successful. Let's check the logs. Here you can see echo reply from R ASA firewall 4.10 to goes 5.5. .5. Request coming from 5.5 .5 and reply going from 4.10 means ASA firewall so this was the process of adding static route or default route on ASA firewall if you like the video just subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification on my updated videos